All right, hello, welcome to uh, Lighten Up Online. I'm Kat, and this is Beck, who's gonna join me today. Um, I'm gonna take you through some bar style arms. Now, I generally use weights when I do my bar class. However, in this day and age, you may not have weights at home. What I've um, known that works very well is Long Life Milk, if you've got it, or... Yes. Can of baked beans. Can of baked beans, just don't drop them on your toes, okay? You can even use your kid. All right, let's do this. You ready? Water back? bottle. Water bottle, yeah, anything that's got a bit of weight in it. But you can drop them as well, gently. All right, let's do this. So what we're going to do is start with arms to the sides. I might just step forward a touch if you step back just a touch. Arms to the side. Um, just my neutral spine. Make sure you're not locking the knees. Soft shoulders back, belly and ribs melt, and give me circles. And around. Up, around. Up, around. Good. Around. Up, around. Up, around. Keep going. We well, got it. That's it. Four, six, five, four, three, two, and reverse your circle. Good. Keep it going. Keep those knees soft, nice long line through the body. Good. Keep it going. Four, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Palms up. Biceps and out. Biceps and out. We got it. Biceps and out. So if you know you're doing it well, you can see your guns. All right? And in, and out, good. In, and out, and in. Keep going, and out. In, and out. We'll go for four, and out. Three, and out. Soft knees, two. We're gonna hold it up, one, pulse. So palms facing in towards you, just a minute little pulse. Yep, tiny. Keep it going, 10, and nine, eight, and seven, six, five, four, I feel like I'm praying to the gods, two, and one. We cinch into the waist and extend. Cinch in, extend. We got it. It's cinch to the waist, extend. And in and out. Good. In and out. Right in, extend. So we're not going to bring it above the shoulder height. Okay? And in. Are you burning, Beck? Yeah, I'm burning. <laughs> For four, three, two, one. Just for more, we go back to biceps. And out. And in and out. Good. In and out. And in and out. We've got five. And out. And four. And out. Three. Good. Two. I know. One. Pulse. 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 That little praying move. That's it. Four. Ten. Nine. Breathe. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. We've got it. Three. Keep going. Two. One. If you need a little break, just roll the shoulders. I know. So feel free to drop weights at any time. Or milk bottles or whatever you've got. Arms out front. Shoulders back. We circle to the front. Getting into those shoulders. Up, around. I stop at the top and draw a little circle. Up, around. Soft knees. So don't lock them out. Good. Four, six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And reverse. Good. That's it. Keep going. Keep strong in the middle. Breathe through it. I know, right? <laughs> for six, five, four, three, two, chest press. In, press it forward. Out, press it forward. Good. So elbows will just come back in line with the shoulders. Oh, mine are burning too. Just hit me then. Good. Press it forward. Get into those pecs. In, press it forward. In, press it forward. We got it. Press it forward. All right. We're going to either keep doing this. If you don't have any issues with rotator cuff, or bring it back and give me a little puppet. A little puppet. But if your muscles around here don't love that, you're gonna stick with just this chest press, okay? So Beck, you can do the puppet and I'll keep doing the chest press, okay? Oh no, you're gonna do the chest press. Okay, I'll, I'll do the puppet. <laughs> Stay a puppet. Oh look, oh look, look at us, so synchronized. <laughs> you, you, you guys need to do this with a friend, you can be synchronized like us. I always um, keep going. I always say that this one is like the um, the little gold kitty cats you get in the Chinese restaurant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that waving you when you come in. Meow. All right, give me five, four more. Four, three, two, one. Palms in and we pulse. Ooh. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep going for ten, nine, eight, seven. Breathe. Six, five. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Just have a little roll. 
Ooh. All right, so if you feel feet, let's bring it into first. So step it up, draw it in. That's it, first position. Lift your uh, inner thighs up towards hip bones, shoulders draw back and down. Bring your hands to low fifth. Yep. And then we come into first. Soft fingers, high fifth, out to the side. Good. Low fifth, point the brass, arms. Out to the side. Good. Low. Forward. Lift to the side. Low. Forward. Good. Lift to the side. Low. Forward. Lift. What we're going to do is add a plie and a releve. Um, don't worry about coordination, just do the best you can. So when our arms come up, we drop, lower plie. When our arms come down, we lift to releve. Lower. And lift. And lower. That's it. And lift. Good. And lower. Knees follow center toes. And lift. And lower. Good. Keep it smooth. And lift. And lower. Keep it going. Let's do four more. And lower. Let's do three more. Oop, cracky ankle. And lower. Two to go. Oop, keeps cracking. Last one. And lower. But I'm going to. Let's just do one more for good measure. So come into releve, press into the two centre toes, bring the arms back up to high fifth, give me a little lap press. So draw those shoulders down. So we want to feel in our back and our sides. But if you can't releve, just drop the heels. So you can drop the heels, otherwise try to really feel those inner thighs squeeze. That's it, four, 10, nine, eight, three, seven, good. Six, five, four, three, Two, one, drop the heels, sweep one arm down, and lift, one arm down, and lift, one arm down, and lift. You can do this in releve as well. If you can keep holding that balance, all heels down, down, and lift. Two more, and we're gonna sweep them quicker. Down, and sweep. What I want you to do is make sure your ribs and your belly are strong. Sweep, feel free to releve. I'll come and releve if you like that, and you can bring the heels down. Keep your core strong for sweep. Give me six, five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen, drop, and down. Good, give a little roll out. We're gonna come into some triceps. Let's face each other to do this. You can do this with a friend, it's fun. So, no, no, stand up. <laughs> Feet hip bone distance apart. I want you to give me a little, little squat and a little tip over the hip. Okay, so taking your hands back behind, keep those hands just above the hip line. It's a little tricep press. So I want you to lengthen from shoulder to finger. That's it. Good. Pulse and pulse. Good. And pulse. So keep uh, energy drawn down through your heel, not the ball of the foot, but lengthen those fingers. And pulse. And pulse. Good. Pulse. That's it. And pulse. Just straight up and down. And pulse. Because in a minute, we're going to make you do other things. Not just pulses. Ten. Nine. Good. Body strong. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. And loving these circles today, so let's go. Keep them high. Into the midline and around. In, around. In, around. Good. That's it. In, around. Keep them high over that hip. Over that hip line. For six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And reverse. Good. Six. Actually, I'm not going to count yet. I'm going to make you keep going. I'm going to make keep going. Keep it going for six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep pulsing. Up and down, up and down, up and down. We should be starting to feel some warmth in the backs of the arms. I hope. Let's go for ten. Not yet. Eight, good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, just a little drop. We'll do a tricep extension. I'm going to do one variation, Beck. We'll do the other. So, come back into that little mini squat. Hands behind, but palms in. And all I want you to do is your tricep extension. You can start with those feet down. Yeah, you, that's it. A little bit more bend. And then really feel your triceps kicking in as you extend. If you want to work a little bit harder, then you stick with this one. Take one leg to extension. Lift it. And it's a... Oops, oops, that's right, and extend, and bend, and extend, and bend. So you can work hamstrings and triceps at the same time. You're gonna hold your balance. So looking forward, down at the mat. 
This he is did go, I know. Down, push it up. Try this one with the coordination. <laughs> Legs and arms. Push it up. Good. Push it out. Keep going. Five more before you swap legs. Four. That's it. Three. It's all right. Two. Where are we? And one. Swap legs. Well, I have to swap legs. You have to keep going. Okay? So if you're hard doing oh. this one, keep that. Keep down the midline of the body. That's it. And bend. Extend. There's always a little bend in the knees. They're not hyperextended. Keep those triceps working for six and five and four. We got it. And three and two and one. And lift. Give it a little roll out. So pop your weights, tins, milk bottles, whatever you've got, children. Put them down on the floor. We're going to do some tricep dips. So come on down. If you have blocks, you can use them. I'm going to show you something with blocks as well. So if you have them, use them. Oh look, this is going to be, this is going to look quite nice, isn't it? <laughs> All right. So feet together, inner thigh squeeze, lengthen your body, take your hands back. Yep, so shoulders lift. What I don't want is your shoulders dipping forward. Open the chest, and it's a tricep dip. So you bend and press. We keep those open collarbones, eye line forward. And press, and bend, and press, and bend. That's it, and press, and bend. I'm gonna give you another level. So you have to just work out where to put your hands. Everyone's different with where to put their hands. Keep going back with this one, and press. Otherwise, you can lift it higher, bend, and press. But keep your tail heavy and just bend the elbows. Bend, and press, and bend, and press, and bend, and press. Keep going, bend. Whichever level you're doing, and bend. And press, good. Keep those shoulder blades back and down. Give me six more. Is that too easy? I'll ask you. Is that too easy? Maybe a little bit. Okay, keep going then. Yeah. Beck says it's too easy. Got to do more. Blame her. And up. We'll go eight. Seven. Breathe. Six. Is it burning now? Yeah. <laughs> Five. I immediately regret Four. my decision. Oh, so do I. Three. Oh my God, I can't even lift them. Two. One. All right, take a little breather. Shake it out. Um, so I'm going to show you this reverse plank hold. I'm going to do mine on... Yeah, I'll, I'll do this one if you like. I'll, I'm going to show you on the blocks. Just because I have, I have T-Rex arms. So uh, <laughs> if you've got long arms, it'll probably work for you. But I have a little T-Rex, so I need blocks. So you can use them as well. You could have done this straight after your triceps to get more work. But I'm going to lengthen my legs, lift my tush, squeeze my, my, yeah, squeeze my tush, activate my belly, and then come into this reverse plank. And I'm going to hold, squeeze the inner thighs, hold, lift, my line forward, no neck back, hold for 10, 9, squeeze inner thighs, 8, 7, breathe through it, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So what you can do, you need to take them out a little bit. I don't need to look like that. It's bring it forward, slide in. Oh, I've got a bit of a grippy mat. Lift, slide it up and under. Bring it in, slide up and under. Slide it back. Better without a mat. One more. Slide it under and lift and drop. Oh my gosh! All right, rolling it over. We're nearly done. You're going to finish with some plank ups just to get that little bit more chest, shoulders, a bit of core as well. So, can be done on your knees as well. All fours. Oops, I like plank. Forearms, lift up. Swap. Forearms, lift up. Swap. Forearms, lift up. Swap. Forearms, lift up. Can be done on the knees as well. But keep your belly strong. Give me six more rounds. And up, five, and up, four, and up, three, and up, two, and up, one, hold your plank, hold it, for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and then just die a little bit. Come on down. <sighs> Tail down, arms forward. Little child's pose. <sighs> I hope you feel your arms. Come on, I think it's time for stretch. So sit however you feel comfortable on your mat. I'm gonna sit cross-legged. Just a little breath. Bring one hand up and across. Draw the shoulder down and then look over the shoulder. Big belly breaths. Same arm. Bring it up into the midline of the spine. And again, you can look over that same elbow shoulder. And then swap it up. Sweep it up and across. Make sure you draw the shoulder down. Look over the shoulder. And then try that stretch. Same arm, bring it into the centre of the spine. Just watch your neck's not dipping forward. You can look over. And then from there, I want you to interlock your fingers, hollow, reach, open the chest, lifting them up to the ceiling, looking towards the fingers, turning out, open. And then take the hands behind the line of the body, open to reach and stretch. Draw it back down, side stretch to finish, hand to the side, reach up and over, looking up to the ceiling, up and over the other side, hopefully no one dropped any tins on their feet, I hope not, because you'll need them for our, our leg tutorial. <laughs> Bring it up, roll out the shoulders, big breaths. Oh, thank you all for participating. I really hope you felt your arms. Watch out for another one coming up soon. Thank you.